So my name is Marina Sapochnikov and uh, I'm a family doctor. I work in BC for the last 10 years. I uh, was born in Ukraine, in Soviet Union, and obtained my degree from Vinitsa Medical State School. And um, I uh, uh, ended up in Israel for uh, 15 years, and in 2004 I came to Canada. And after spending 30 years in the Soviet Union, I could hardly imagine myself standing here after 20 years in Canada and defending democracy. That is a sick joke. So, um, um, so I'm standing today in the opposition to the uh, Bill 36, and uh, uh, since uh, the medical care started deteriorated very, very quickly after the COVID started, and uh, I somehow found myself in the midst of it because uh, I had an audacity to um, exercise my uh, professional opinion and decided that vaccine is not good for me. So that was a not a good decision apparently because uh, the only reason I'm still working is because I can only work at a private clinic and I cannot set food at a hospital or any public uh, medical office. So in light of my colleagues uh, said before, I would like specifically focus on uh, two sections is uh, section 335 and 553. And these sections specifically indicate that our health uh, officer, a uh, provincial health officer, in her opinion, based on her opinion alone, can introduce as law in the province, the, a law by reference that made by any provincial, national or international organization. And uh, it doesn't require any input from the provincial, from uh, professional colleges or BC parliament. This is a scary proposition because in this situation, the very few, it gives very few unelected officials almost unlimited power to introduce any law for many millions of uh, uh, people of BC to uh, adopt any uh, medical, med uh, medical uh, decisions. So uh, the PHO may adopt the rules that are made by international jurisdictions, such as World Health Organization or the World Health Assembly, including any part of the international health regulations or the pandemic treaties based on their opinion alone, regardless of whether or not Canada voted on it. So the Act gives the authority for the Cabinet, together with the PHO, to adopt rules and regulations from foreign health jurisdictions which were made for different countries, different geographical areas, demographic populations, medical system structures, and so forth. The wording of the Act gives the ability to a few unelected officials to generate a way for non-consensual imposition of the rules and regulation without consideration of the input of the Legislature Assembly. I am deeply concerned that making decisions of such magnitude can be left to the opinion of a limited number of people without a broad oversight by the democratic institutions and professional organizations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Boom. You know, I just got to say that when someone from Russia that grew up in the SSR finds that it's more draconian here than it is in Soviet Union, that should make us all pause. It's very scary.